y esa que me quema Cuando vaya la nota me estalla Mami, ¿qué más? ¿Qué más? Hay algo en ti que me tiene mal, Muy mal. Sé que anda puesta para el problema why distance equals motivation. Welcome to this video, welcome to Colombia. Today I want to talk about motivation and why motivation equals distance. And this should be like a whole like motivational series because there's like four topics that I have to talk about this. And I think I will make four videos out of this. So yeah, this will be the first out of four videos. A couple of weeks ago, I really had like, um, like a super, super down. I was like super unmotivated. So I was sitting down and really thinking about the topic, okay, what is motivation? Because sometimes I had like super, super, I was super motivated and I had like super down, so I was like super, super low and super unmotivated. And I thought about, hey, okay, how can I define this thing of motivation? How can I break it down and write it down so I can be like basically motivated constantly? First of all, okay, we have to start with some definitions uh, that I made for myself. We have, of course, motivation, which is in general like um, a short-term state that only of course drives you short-term and on the other hand we have the like the motive which is more like a long-term or like a um, higher higher purpose basically higher purpose why we do things and this is what is like drives us more long-term so two other words or two other things connected to motivation that we have to talk about that you probably heard of is first extrinsic motivation and second intrinsic motivation so extrinsic motivation as the name says is something outside that motivates you from the outside if you rely on extrinsic motivation you're bound to lose you're bound to fail because extrinsic motivation is even less long term and even more and more short term and on the other hand we also have intrinsic motivation and intrinsic motivation as the name says comes from the inside and is strongly intertwined and deeply connected with the motive with the purpose that we have. Okay, and now the definition of my definition of motivation. This is my personal definition whether I, when I was sit sitting down and writing it down. You might have another definition. There might be other definitions online, but this is my personal. So motivation results out of a state of not havingness. So when you don't have something, when you don't have a thing or also a state. So basically, distance. So what you already have, a state or some external object leads to basically zero motivation because you already have it. So, so based on this uh, definition, there resulted some ways how you can motivate yourself a bit. Now we will get into them. First, have big goals, like not only normal goals, but big goals and read them out every day. This is basically part of my morning routine. This is the first thing after shower. This is the first thing I do in the morning. I write down my goals. I look at my goals to visualize them even more. And if you look at it, what are goals? Goals create like a distance between where you are right now and where you want to be. Again, here we have distance. The second thing to motivate yourself is leave your comfort zone and overwhelm yourself a little bit. What we always have to remember, whenever we feel comfortable, this is basically like a, a sign that we're not growing right now. Feeling comfortable is no growth, aka feeling uncomfortable. For example, right now there are some people looking, it's not super crowded, but I feel a bit uncomfortable uh, because I'm not super fluent in, in front of the camera right now, but I feel a bit uncomfortable. This is a sign that I'm not drawing a lot, but I'm growing a little bit right now. I'm getting more comfortable with the camera and I'm increasing my comfort zone. But yeah, think about this again. When are you feeling, or are you at the moment more feeling comfortable during your day or are you feeling more uncomfortable and what does this say about your growth? Back to the topic of motivation, feeling comfortable with your current situation would be not having distance because the current goals that you have are reached. You're already where you want to be. This is why you feel comfortable. You're not expanding. You're not out outside of your comfort zone. And at the same time, feeling uncomfortable with, with your situation is distance because you do not have reached your goals. You're stepping outside of a comfort zone to reach your goals. There's some form of distance. The third thing that is super, super, super important that you have to surround yourself with people that are way, way, way further than you. Even by just talking to those people or being around those people, their reality becomes a bit more part of your reality. You, your thinking starts to change. You think, okay, if those people, maybe my age, maybe younger than I, also just flesh and blood, if they are 10 times, 100 times further than I am, where could I be? Might it also be possible for me? Of course it's possible for me. So your thinking starts to change and you see a huge distance between where you are and where those people are and those people become the new standard and you think, okay, I could be that too. There's a huge distance between the person I am and I, the person that I could be, aka some motivation. This is the third thing. The fourth thing is get, for example, like a mentor. I, for example, I love to get mentors. I have like almost in every, every area, mindset, sales, also fitness. Of course, you have to be a bit careful with mentors because nowadays they're 
are many people who pretend to be like good mentors and they charge you a lot and they don't deliver. But if you have a good mentor, I love to pay them a lot of money because then you can buy yourself so many years of experience. And the other thing is like a mentor like who really shows you that you're not as great as you think you are, that really shows you, okay, your skills aren't as good as you think, bring you back to the ground basically and show you again you could be way, way better and he challenges you and again there's some sort of distance which motivates you. If you have mentors I'm, I'm pretty sure you know what I mean. The mentors that are way further than you that sometimes give you a kick in the ass after that such a call with those mentors you like super motivated you want to just take action. Um, and this is my message for today. I hope you liked this video. I hope this was like some new information and you will create some distance in your life maybe to motivate yourself and uh, this was the first out of four videos. Maybe we'll see each other in the second one or in the third one or in the fourth one. Whatever, create some distance and take some action. See you in the next one.